guys, it's Jessie V. So today I was supposed to post a video that my mom and I did together, but unfortunately I'm still editing that, so you're gonna have to wait about a day or two before that comes out. So for now, I thought I would just do a simple video while you guys are waiting. Do you like my little flower crop top? It's all, it's all flowery. I thought it would be cool to every once in a while post a video of just things that I like so they could be called my favorite blank and I just have a list of some things that I like because I think that would let you guys get to know me a bit better and I could also see what I have in common with you guys because maybe you watch the same TV shows that I do and it'd be cool to hear if you do or not, you know? I'm putting on my lipstick in front of my lens cause I'm weird like that. So obviously the shows that I watched as a child are very different from the ones that I watch now. So let's get started guys. My favorite TV shows as a child. And these aren't in any particular order, it's just from what I can remember basically. <laughs> the Amanda Show. That show cracked me up so much. Amanda was absolutely hilarious and when she did that like alter ego with the black wig, that was so funny. But apparently now she's completely lost her mind so that's a little too bad. Art Attack. I loved art as a kid. I still do now, so Art Attack. Art Attack was Bay. Bear in the big blue house. Gosh, I would love that big fat bear to be my dad, wouldn't you? And he sang songs to the moon at night. Who wouldn't want that? And his house was big and blue. I want a blue house. Lizzie McGuire. I loved her. I had like a DS game that I took everywhere. Actually, you know what? I think it was a Game Boy game. Dexter's Laboratory. I was in love with Dee Dee. I thought she was insane, but so cute at the same time. Dee Dee just wanted to love him. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I'm sure like everyone knows that one. He's hilarious and I know the theme song by heart. I would sing it but we don't have enough time. Johnny Bravo. That guy has some muscles. Always trying to get those girls. Little Bear. That show, now that I think of it, it was so boring but I loved it as like a little kid. I mean they literally did nothing really and the theme song was instrumental. Mona the Vampire. I was actually scared of this show as a kid but that's why I loved it because at 21 now I love horror movies and that was like my kid version of a horror show. Barney and Friends. I love that friggin show. I love you, you love me. We're a happy family. Bananas in Pajamas. That show is so trippy. There were literally giant bananas in pajamas. And I actually have that theme song in my head right now and I'm gonna go watch it on YouTube. Polka Dot Shorts. That TV show was also very, very strange, but I still watched it because I was a strange child so I related to it. Teletubbies, guys. Ooh, I love that show. Tinky Winky was my boyfriend and Poe was the cutest thing I had ever seen. The Powerpuff Girls. <sighs> that show, so good. As a kid, I just wanted to grow up to be a Powerpuff Girl. I feel like their dad wasn't very protective though. He just let them go off and fight scary things. If I was their dad, I'd be like, nope, you three are staying in this house. Watch some TV. Brace Face. I related to this show because I had braces for a long time. Care Bears. I used to watch this show with my grandma all the time. So cute, so cuddly, so adorable. Pingu. I have no comment for this show except it was oddly entertaining. Scooby-Doo. I mean, who wouldn't like that awesome dog? And Shaggy was like the hippie of the group and he was so cool. The only thing I didn't like was how the monsters ended up to be just people in the end. Why couldn't one just be a monster? That's so Raven. Hilarious. Phil of the Future. I used to watch this every morning before breakfast. Kim Possible. The Fairly Odd Parents, Sesame Street, Big Bird would be my best friend. Rugrats, those children were rebels, I tell you. The Big Comfy Couch, Real Monsters, Crazy Show, Are You Afraid of the Dark, such a good show, I love scary stories. SpongeBob, probably my favorite kid show ever. I'd still watch it at this age. George Shrinks, I just want to carry that little boy with me everywhere. I put him in my pocket and walk to school. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Zoe 101, Before She Got Pregnant, and Hannah Montana, which I probably know every single song that she sang. And that's really all I can think of for the kids shows that I watched. But yeah, let me know if you also watch those shows. And now for the shows that I watched today. Number one, Pretty Little Liars. Really good show. I'm just a bit frustrated because this show has been going on for so many years and you just, the mystery isn't being solved. Every season you think they're working out their problems, but they're not. Their problems never end, but it's so addicting. It's such an addicting show. The Vampire Diaries, Dame and Salvatore. <laughs> 
Damon is life. I'd become a vampire just for Damon so we could live together forever. I mean, Stefan's cute too, but Damon all the way. Damon is bae all the way. I should make a t-shirt that says that. Klaus was awesome too. I love Klaus. But now he's on the show, The Originals, which I also watch. Lost. I know this show is done now, but it has got to be in my top three shows. I absolutely loved it. It just messes with your mind. It I don't even know what to say, it's just so good. Game of Thrones, my love. It is such an intense show and there's so many stories going on at different times, but it, it's so good. Catfish, the TV show. There are only a few reality TV shows that I like and this is one of them because I just love the twist ending and I, and I love how you just wonder, are they being catfished, are they not? Will they find true love? Bates Motel, this show is so messed up. I don't wanna spoil it for you, so if you're not watching it, you should. And like, it makes me feel wrong watching it. You know when you just feel wrong? Like I also love American Horror Story and you just feel wrong sometimes watching it because there's like gore and like just messed up stuff happening but such a good show. Both of them. Bates Motel and American Horror Story. The OC which is done now but it was a really good show. I loved Marissa's character and I cried at the end. The Bachelor slash The Bachelorette. I feel creepy watching people's love life, but it's entertaining. Criminal Minds. I only watch it for one reason. <sighs> no, I'm just joking. The stories are so awesome, and it's also a very intense show, and I love mysteries. Project Runway. I love fashion design. Grey's Anatomy. Oh my goodness. Definitely in my top three. Okay, I started watching this show from episode one, season one, in January, and I finished every single season up until now in like like a month and now I'm obsessed but they kicked off some of my favorite characters and I'm not gonna spoil it if you haven't seen it but I cried for a very long time One Tree Hill which is done now but it was such a good show as well so emotional I love the relationships between the friends and the couples really good Gossip Girl which is done now as well such a good show I watched every single season last year I think for the first time and I was hooked such a good show. And last but not least, Supernatural, Those Boys. Oh, you guys are gonna think I'm just watching these shows for the guys. I'm not, okay? They're all really good shows. So let me know which ones on the list that you guys watch as well, or the ones that you don't like, that you do like. I'd love to hear from you guys. And don't worry, I will be posting the video with my mom very soon. This was more like a filler video, but I still hope you liked it. And I'm gonna put my Twitter and my Instagram and my Snapchat in the description as usual. So follow so we can be friends. And Thank you so much for your feedback. I know you guys want me to do a vlogging channel and I have decided to do it, but it's not gonna be for a couple months and I will fill you in when the time is coming soon that I will post my first vlogging video, okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye, until next time.